What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Raise. It is that time of the year again. You know, it's the holiday season when Princess Switch is playing on your screen. The big question is, will there be a Princess Switch 4? Here's everything I have for you. In case you are not a Christmas movie fan, the Princess Switch movie series is as Christmassy as they come. So it's great news for everyone that the third installment of the series is now available on Netflix. An American romantic comedy titled The Princess Switch was released in 2018 and was directed by Mike Roll from a screenplay by Robin Bernheim and Megan Metzger. Sam Palladio, Nick Sagar, and Vanessa Hudgens are the movie's stars. The idea for the movie came from Mark Twain's 1881 book The Prince and the Pauper in which two persons, who appear to be identical, bump into one another and trade places. Netflix published it on November 16, 2018, the first installment of The Princess Switch. The Princess Switch, Switched Again, which debuted on November 19, 2020, was its sequel. And the third installment, Princess Switch, Romancing the Star. In The Princess Switch 3, Queen Margaret and Princess Stacy are compelled to work together with their old enemy, Fiona, to recover a rare artifact that has been stolen. So, will there be a fourth Princess Switch movie? The Princess Switch 4 is currently not on Netflix, and everything depends on Vanessa Hudgens. Hudgens admitted in a recent interview that while she enjoys making the Princess Switch films, it is a lot of work, and she needs a break. You know, I never want to say never, but I definitely need a break from the amount of work that these movies take. They're so special, and I love being in everyone's home for the holidays, and knowing that it's bringing families together. It just fills my soul with joy, but it's a lot of work. I don't know. I feel like I need a little break from Christmas for a minute. Before we get into the possible plot for Princess Switch 4, let's do a bit of a recap first. Bonsoir, Peter. How long has it been since you walked out to me in Barbados? Will you help? You know the answer to that. Stacy, Princess of Belgravia, and Margaret, Queen of Montenero, had plans to throw an international Christmas celebration in Montenero after their early adventures. The Star of Peace, a relic sent by the Vatican that serves as the centerpiece of this year's celebration, is unfortunately stolen days before the event, leaving the authorities in the dark. Stacy and Margaret are forced to enlist Fiona, Margaret's shady cousin, in order to collect the Star of Peace. Fiona receives a holiday break from her probationary period while performing volunteer work at St. Michael's Covenant. Fiona enlists the aid of Peter, a former Interpol detective and a childhood friend, to solve the case of the stolen relic. Peter uses his sleuthing skills to determine that Hunter Cunard, a billionaire with a vendetta against asset theft, is the culprit. Cunard was Fiona's ex-lover. Hunter is enticed by Fiona to invite her to his Christmas party when she contacts him. Peter retrieves a security plan for Hunter's rural estate, the venue for the party, and the location of the stolen treasure. Hunter and Fiona are the only ones who can bypass this motion sensor array, though. Margaret offers to meet Hunter while dressed as Fiona at the robbery, because Fiona is unable to be in two places at once. Fiona and Peter enter the gallery covertly on the day of the party. On the security camera, Mindy and Reggie continue to conceal themselves. The Star of Peace is successfully taken back by Fiona and Peter. While Fiona flees, Peter gives her the artifact in a bag and stays behind to impede the security personnel. Frank drives Fiona to the palace in safety when she boards the vehicle. It's gonna be like breaking into Fort Knox. Everything must be perfect or we run the risk of getting caught. Hunter is duped into believing Margaret is Fiona by Margaret while maintaining her cover. Through the heist, she delays him. Hunter becomes suspicious as a result of the security alarms, so Margaret uses the angel man's assistance to leave the party. Fiona's hearing has been postponed, according to a call Stacy receives from the convent while Margaret and Fiona are away. Because she has no other option, Stacy, too, dons Fiona's disguise and shows up to the hearing. Edward accompanies her out of concern for her safety. The jury chooses to revoke Fiona's probation and release her when Stacy pretends to feel regret for Fiona's wrongdoings. When Fiona gets to the palace, she discovers that the jewel is gone from the bag. Margaret decides to finally tell the Vatican the truth after learning that everyone believes Peter has taken off with the relic. Fiona yet decides to confront Peter about it. Peter explains to her that he was only once at her attention and that he had plans to introduce her to her mother. Fiona refuses and irately walks out with the jewel as she recalls her sour past with her mother. She understands, however, that she is about to commit the same error of leaving, just like her mother did to her when she was a youngster. She circles back and gives her mother a cozy hug. The Star of Peace, which was found, lifts the holiday spirit on Christmas Day. Kevin is informed by Margaret that Hunter Cunard smashed that like button. No, but seriously, Kevin was informed that Hunter Cunard was detained while attempting to exit the country. Fiona feels a sense of emptiness now that everything has been handled. Peter had always been a loyal friend to her, so she felt bad for mistreating him. 
every time her mother abandoned her as she was growing up, he consoled her. Fiona begins to understand that she has been in love with her best friend the entire time. Merry Christmas from Montanaro. This year we're hosting an international Christmas festival featuring a special visitor. Peter, nevertheless, shows up for the gathering, demonstrating the miracle of Christmas. Fiona apologizes to him and admits that she was always avoided closeness out of fear. The two kiss one another as they overcome with emotion. The Christmas tree is illuminated by the Star of Peace and a lovely choir fills the air. Although, in my opinion, even if I wanted a third movie from this franchise, The Princess Switch 3 would be a good conclusion. But if we were to assume that The Princess Switch series does not end there, it does present a few prospective plot lines for The Princess Switch 4, like Fiona using her dubious connections to the criminal underground to aid Stacy and Margaret in the third movie caused a rather big story swing, so it's probable that the fourth movie will take a similar surprising turn. There will be a love story to examine in a hypothetical The Princess Switch 4 because Fiona rekindled their romance. Additionally, it seems somewhat certain that at least one of the characters will have a pregnancy plotline, especially if there is a royal heir plotline involved. Of course, Vanessa Hudgens would be required if the Princess Switch 4 were to take place. All three of her characters, Queen Margaret, Princess Stacy, and Fiona, would make a comeback because they are now essential to the plot. So would their three lovers, Kevin Richards, played by Nick Sagar, Margaret's husband and the future Prince Consort of Montenero, played by Sam Palladio, Edward Wyndham, played by Stacey Palladio, and Peter Maxwell, played by Remy He, Fiona's ex-husband and current love. Actress Amanda Donahoe would probably play a part in any Princess Switch 4 narrative as well, just as Fiona reconciled with her estranged mother, Bianca, towards the conclusion of the Princess Switch 3. Fiona's sidekicks would also probably return, Mark Fleischman, played by Frank DeLuca, and Mindy, played by Florence Hall. The Princess Switch 3 also tells us to smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. But, okay, from what the third installment tells us, Mia Lloyd, who portrays Olivia Richards, Kevin's daughter, and Margaret's future stepdaughter is always at schools. So her appearance might just be brief. But for those wondering if they would be adding a fourth character for Hudgens, she has stated in multiple interviews how challenging it is for her to shoot as three separate personas. Adding a fourth would be extremely impossible. So if you're still wondering, you might want to lower your expectation. For the possible date of its release, you might want to buckle yourself up because accordingly, Hudgens wants a break, though, and these are currently no signs that The Princess Switch 4 will be approved by Netflix anytime soon. Given that, the earliest release date for The Princess Switch 4 that spectators might anticipate seeing would be during the 2023 holiday season. Check out these videos next.